This week's Monday meditation is coming from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 1 through 8. Uh, in the month of June for our meditations, we have been looking at passages of Scripture that deal with uh, human sexuality, uh, gender, and those types of issues. And in 1 Thessalonians 4, the Apostle Paul uh, is very clear as regards what our responsibility before the Lord is regarding these areas. And so, let this be an encouragement and a challenge to you as you begin your week. Finally then, brethren, we urge and exhort in the Lord Jesus that you should abound more and more, just as you receive from us how you ought to walk and to please God. For you know what commandments we gave you through the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one should take advantage of and defraud his brother in this matter, because the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also forewarned you and testified. For God did not call us to uncleanliness, but in holiness. Therefore, he who rejects this, rejects all that the Apostle Paul has just said about holiness in our lives as it relates to sexuality. Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, this isn't man's ideas, but God, who has also given us his Holy Spirit. So, the Lord has called all of us to live lives of holiness in every area, but in this passage it's specifically referencing a human sexuality. There is a lot of confusion in our culture about this. And we as Christ followers, if you are a Christ follower, you do not have the freedom to live as you would like in regards to sexuality. There are explicit and very clear uh, patterns for us to follow. Uh, those patterns, as Christopher Yuan has said, are chastity and singleness and faithfulness in marriage. And that is the express command of God in his word, and it's for our good and his glory. So this week, remember that as you uh, go through your week and uh, be encouraged by that because following the Lord's pattern is really where true joy and freedom is found. Have a great week. God bless.